day and welcome to your favorite spot program on TV Plus Spot. As usual, when it's time, almost at the hour of five o'clock, it's time for your favorite spot program um, at all time. I'm sure a lot of viewers across the globe are waiting for this moment to know what's going on. And then it's good to let you know that um, your comment on our social media um, um, page is highly um, commendable for, for writing so much of messages, you're dropping the messages and your likes, your retweets and all that has been going on well. So today also we have a very fantastic um, guest, um, very respectable um, media personality, but with, um, with so much about um, sport, talking about Dr. Um, Martin Morgan, who is an African sport consultant. He has done also so well for sports in the country and beyond the country. He is always in the corridor of the sport ministry, trying to evaluate decisions and policies to ensure that um, sport goes on very well in this country. So we'll be focusing today's focus will be on Nigerian's preparation for the Olympic Paris 2024 Olympics is by the corner. There have been so much about this and um, talking to us on what we should be expecting is um, Dr. Morgan. It's good to have you on the show, sir. Mother um, it's nice seeing your face again after some years. Yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Nice yeah. meeting you again. Yes, yeah, nice to see you. Thank you. Yes, and uh, also to yeah. let um, our viewers know that you've been doing so well to promote um, Nigerian sport. Um, global image has been going on and you've been doing so much um, work to ensure that on the positive note, Nigeria is always talked about when it comes to sports. Yes, actually, when we talk about sports in Nigeria, anywhere I go in all over Africa, I've worked in 36 countries in Africa, and I, I feel that it's always very interesting because when they see the first thing that comes to their mind, uh, they tell you, Nigeria, Nigeria, boom, boom, boom. That is in Nigeria, good, good, good. And a uh, high sport, high football. They start mentioning of some of the likes of some of our footballers. I tell you an incident in Malawi. In I was in, uh, I just arrived at Blantyre, which is the capital to Lilungwe. I couldn't pay my tax arrival of uh, fifteen dollars. I don't know whether I counted that story to you guys. Mm -hmm. They just said Nigeria. You know Okocha? I said yes. Okocha is my brother. So they saw because I wrote their Martin O O Bone. I said that oh, oh is Okocha. He said oh, okay. it's Okocha brother too. He's from Nigeria. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the very interesting thing about sports. And it is where we keep on promoting in terms of the talent we have them all over. They are spread. Our Nigerian uh, sports coaches and administrators are doing very well in different countries. If you go to Rwanda, you see they even the national coach of the Congolese uh, tennis uh, tennis team is a Nigerian, and the daughter is also playing for for them. In I met him in uh, Yaounde mm. some time ago. So this is the beauty about uh, when you're talking about sport. So it is a. Uh, it is a sort of a, a, an export product we have mm. that we need to really harness it very well. Like I was telling some of the people in the sports corridor that this is the business we need to, it's no longer entertainment. Mm. We need to harness it, export it, manage them. Though there are some shylocks within the people, uh, within the system who are not doing the right thing. But I, I saw some children in Bamako okay. where they were left stranded. They said they were going to Europe for football. I said, no, it's a wrong thing. So we mm. see them like that. I even met some in uh, Lumubashi, that is in DRC Congo, some time ago. So these are some of the challenges we have that if you properly harness some of these things with a proper data management, we should be able to understand how we can manage our, not only football, in all aspects, we are there. Exactly. Say in the Olympics, we're having canoeing. Canoeing is another, uh, another sport because we have a lot of uh, each a, a region in this country is blessed. We can have a lot of Kunin atlas from the River Rhine area, from my area, Cross River, Akwaibom, River Bayelsa. We can harness them. See cycling. We used to have cycling in those days. We are only representing only one in mm. the Olympic this time around. Mm. So, yeah, th th thank you very much um, for that um, information. I will go straight to what we are here um, focused for today is, is Nigeria's preparation for the Olympics. And um, what, what can you say so far so good as we have um, less than um, um, less than uh, two weeks to the Olympics? Yeah, less than, uh, less than two weeks. What, what can you say days. about Nigeria's preparation for, for that, this event? So far, so good. This is one of the best time we ever had in terms of preparation. 
you are able to undertake in all the necessary trials and support from the government. I think we must give kudos to this government uh, for them to have been able to have these huge free assignments and the rest, starting from any other aspect of sport. So there's no an issue of, uh, oh, there's money hanging here. No, 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 it's not there. All the approval has been given. I remember even when the sports minister was handing over the baton to the NOC chairman, he said, we have done all the best. There is no excuse to fail. That is a mantra. No excuse to fail. And to tell you that, yes, we are going to Paris we are, uh, with a very good expectation. Some of the players or some of the team games are already in their various camp for training. So the guests are in Seville, in Spain. The guys are in, uh, uh, how do you call it, in Osberg uh, uh, in, in Germany. So it tells you that they are really prepared. And we must give kudos to the government of uh, Senator uh, Tinubu Ahmed. Okay. And uh, we can give kudos to the Minister for Sports also. And, the, uh, and all of that coordinating event, we saw that we have been able to have good players. We saw our, our players in African games in Accra, in Ghana. So this tells you that we have the talent. And I just pray that this time around we should be able to harness. There's no controversy about Jesse or kids. We are talking about kids. We remember in 2020 there was a lot of controversy mm -hmm. about kids. But on the unveiling, on the unveiling uh, day of the kids, there was a little bit confusion, but it had been resolved. It's just an additional. The Olympic Committee have asked Nigeria to come with a little bit of black in their GSC, but they have extra GSC from peak. So there's nothing wrong about that. So there's no controversy. There's nothing wrong about that. So the preparation is not top notch. Yeah, doctor. Even the athlete that the yeah. of them were giving. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm telling you. Okay, doctor. I, th I think we, we know that um, it has been addressed, but Nigerians who have not heard about the bit of the controversy in regards to kids, what is this? What is is, is it about? What will it take? Yeah, kid, yeah, the kid issue that was almost my the presentation was this: the Olympic Committee agreed that Nigeria should come with black. They were they, they designed the black jerseys and the rest. Then there was another one that emerged. <laughs> From peak, it just to avoid the issue of Puma and Alpha that will happen in 2020. If you remember, in the last one, we had those type of crises. But uh, honestly, the, the, the administrators were able to mellow it. And uh, yes, it's a supporting kit. Hmm. It, it, there's nothing wrong in having that peak uh, jersey in case you are that so you're an Olympic and flares up. So I think this is how it was properly managed. My concerns here is just that when you have a signage with a, a kit a manufacturer. It's very difficult to bring another kit when you are away during that tournament. So I am sure, I am certain that they have some eggheads, even the chef de mission uh, for this uh, uh, event should be able to now organize it very well that there's not going to be any conflict. This is an additional kit for the guy, uh, for the team. So I am very certain that it will... So which one is the official well. kit? Which one is the official kit? Who sent your official, the official kit? kit? It's from the one approved by the NOC, the black one. One, the other one that came in with the Puma, yes. So this one is from Peak. I don't know Peak how they came to it, but because we were even taken aback when we saw this sort of uh, presentation. So better that they have managed the crisis. But then I believe that when they get to Paris, this is where we'll be able to now understand what is really happening. But I'm sure they should be able to manage it to avoid to avoid any contractual uh, violation that may lead to any further litigation. So this is what I am saying. I hope you will not get to that point. Yeah, we hope so. And uh, what, what, what do you think are the other highlights of, as we see the other highlights of um, the handover of um, the sport ministry to NOC, what are the other highlights? And um, because we know that the f presidency have um, budgeted and um, given up money for this event. So what are the other highlights about this event that um, will probably catch the um, Nigerians' attention? No, the greatest highlight there was, uh, for me, handing over the flag, getting our ship around that will lead us. is the greatest highlight. There was no controversy. Like I said, the only thing that would have gone to our sensibilities would have been the issue of the two kids. But they have been able to manage it effectively, much my work effectively. So that one is gone down. And the man was no excuse to fail. Because nothing, you are not owe anything. Go there and make the country proud. We are going with 87 athletes. We are participating in 12 events. So we should be able to understand that at least with that type of encouragement, we shouldn't come on less than 10 goals. For me, I was saying 20, and they say two. <laughs> it's too high. 
than putting a very high benchmark. If you have been encouraged to that level, it's left for you to deliver at this point in time. And our guys will participate very well. I am sure this should be one of the best Olympics we are going to have after 1992. I think this is what I analysis in Atlanta said. So one, what, one one the, yeah, doctor, what indication or what indices do you think, um, on what basis are you putting the fact that this is going to be our best um, Olympics? What have you seen probably put, that others yes, have seen? I'm putting one. In terms of the trials that have been well conducted, there were no story of padding of medal. There were no story of uh, additions of, uh, how do you call it, your team member or your put DGs. There was no story of you no know, giving goal. There's no money to travel. The standard that will have er arrived when somebody said that they went to Douala by bus from Benin, it's not possible. You cannot go to Douala by bus. There's no bus to Douala. The highest place the bus will drop in Douala is Ecom or Manfe in my village. You cannot go there. So they went through Benin Republic and they joined the air, uh, the connecting flight, which was a uh, Kamerko to uh, Douala. So those type of issues are all being managed. And the two athletes who refused to train, it was based on a medical decision that arrived from them and that advice. So for us, it's to ensure that these guys go there and perform very well. But if they don't perform, this is where we now have a reason to ask them, after you are giving so much, you've not been able to do what is expected, what went wrong. That's where the inquiries and the rest. Even if you do very well, there must still be a report, a mission report. Okay. So this is how it is. So I am very confident that I don't want to pick up individual aspects. I know we have a bunch of people who are very, because every person's expectation is uh, a Muslim, to, to be. But when you put so much pressure on such people, they don't perform there. They, they get burnt all over. But with that uh, 12 event, 87 athletes, averagely, let's get no less than 10 or 15 goals. It's my expectation. So yeah. the distribution is still that even tennis, we have four. Uh, boxing, we have about... Um, Boxing, we have very about three. Canoeing, we have two. Uh, football is 18, but it's one medal. I expect that the, the female Falcons, uh, the Falcons should be able to, to give us, make us proud because it's, it's the master goal. The football is always the master goal. That is how we, <laughs> we call it. We saw that uh, we should be able to now have that distribution. To have cycling, we had one person going. So this is in that team. Like I told you, maybe I can give you the details of the events we are participating, those 12 events in total. So this is what we're going to do. So you should be proud. So when you go to Paris, you'll be able to understand that yeah, this is, we are not going to see Paris and die. We are going to see Paris and participate. You see, say Paris, that is the slogan. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be a wonderful time because the city itself, Paris, it's um, home for tourists. I'm sure a lot of Nigerians will be there. Those are still very um, close. But it's very difficult for us not to start talking about individuals. In the last uh, Olympic in Tokyo, we had um, yeah. Blessing and also Isibume yeah. gave us yeah. a medal. I think that would, um, gave us medal in the Olympics. And uh, Toby is a world champion and Toby will be going to the Olympics. What, what, if, what, um, can you mention two or three events you expect us to have um, a medal? One, our stronghold normally used to be in boxing, okay, field, uh, field and um, tennis, some some time ago. Then for me, for this event, I am believing in our relative one. Apart from Toby Amusa, it's also a banker. There's Essay Brume, she's doing very well, and uh, there's also we need to think about uh, the boxers. At least two boxers should be able to get to the finals and get and get us medal. Hmm. We are going with four, so we should be, uh, three. Sorry, we should be able to get at least two to get us to that area. Then we talk about weightlifting. I think two qualify. You know, prior to their qualification and their qu uh, trials, we have other events that came out that authorized them to participate. Then yes. we have in aquatic sports. We have only two. But it's a little bit new for us. I don't so much expect uh, something in that area. Then I, I have a, um, the 35 athletes, I should be able to understand at least all plus minus, you can get in between them five and six because you are competing with the best of the world. Yes. You are competing in events that you have 329 medals and 32 sports. And we are going away with 12 to participate on 12 sports. So that tells you that you need to put in the best you could, and which I believe you should be able to do that. 
I, I believe. So that is my own confidence level as a Nigerian. They are not going to lack supporters because most of Africans who are going to, who are going to be in Paris, if you've been to Paris, you see that you have a lot of Nigerians, even the West African brothers from uh, Ghana, Senegal, Guinea. They are full near Saint Denis, near Saint Denis, very capitalism around this month. So you see them, this is how it is. So for me, I feel that they should be able to do very well. Like I say, Relay, Amosun, S.A. Brume, and um, I record tennis. I think I have that very good. Okay. And a little bit of weightlifting. We, uh, wrestling used to be one of our strongholds too. Yes. I don't know how far it happened to the team. No, the qualifier did not go very well. We have only we are going with only six restaurants. So let's see how they will be able to to manage it. And, and I must I must say it here that the confidence level among the athletes too is high. It's okay. just like any other event. But I believe some will improve on their own timing and the rest. Then soccer, football, <laughs> football. Some people are saying that the group we are. Is dangerous. There's no group that is not dangerous. Okay. And I feel that if our girls are able to shy away any complacency level, they will be able to do Africa proud. I think this is what I, I, I think Team Nigeria should be able to do for us. And we must give kudos to the administrators. We must give kudos to every person coordinating this team. And the coaches too. There's no cases of we are owing me salary, have not been paid. No, these things have been, we have passed that level. So, I think they should do everything. If they don't do well, this is where the question will be asked. Hmm. Like a Mugabe, the late Mugabe, when they didn't do well in Brazil, he said that if they needed people to go and recite the national anthem in uh, uh, Brazil, they should have brought down some care from just to Kampala. Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> so this is what he was saying. So the, the, this is not so what we want to do now. Yeah, like Doctor, really, it's very complex player uh, team. Dr. Morgan, it's, um, we, we try as much as possible not to, to shy away from this question, but um, it's not going to be possible because it's a reminder of what happened in Tokyo 2021, where some, the WADA, that's what Athletic um, Doping um, Agency, um, was talking about you know, some Nigerians did not participate at, though they were in, in, in Tokyo, but because of um, doping rules and regulation, about more than five of them were unable to participate. Just a few weeks ago, we also had information that we are probably going to face penalty if some certain steps or rules are not taken. Can you give us an enlightening Nigerians and the globe um, about this? Yes, you see, uh, uh, the issue of doping and the rest, every organization has their regulations. There are rules, even in here, there are rules and regulations. It is when you refuse to abide. I think there's an internal problem. We have to say it the way it is. Our people were not able to abide to certain regulations. And this is what is always affecting us. This issue of not being proactive. We are always very reactive. But at the last minute, this is where we start to do damage repair. Now we are able to send two lawyers to Luzan for that case. And now we, uh, the case is supposed to have. I mean, the decision is supposed to have been taken today, but I'm yet to get the feedback before coming on set, but I know I will get it. We're not supposed to wait for that level. And if I am very convinced that if if it goes the other way, it will not be very good for us. But the people in the NOC have assured Nigerians, for Mr. Debayo, that we shouldn't be too much afraid that they should be able to get it out. But I am concerned because so that what happened in Tokyo will not happen. We go in 87 athletes, and God forbid they say five or five or three. Your national anthem will not be sung. They are going, you cannot host any other competitions. You cannot do your podium finish even if when you get the medal. It's a negative image. So all those things, if it happen like that, it becomes a taste of ashes. All the preparation, the rest matters, the money sent when it become a negative bottom line. This is I hope it will not get to that point. This is why I keep on telling most of our administrators if they care to listen that look we need to follow the regular these are checklists that are available all over the year mm. or uh, you know height or even the athletes are not now they are charging up for ineligibility and, uh, and negligence of uh, performing setting right which is not supposed to do we, this is not nigerian court of justice we should be able to follow our Tobu Amosun. well luckily she escaped the other side but this one is not going to help us so whatever whosoever cares mostly the athletic federation you should give keep away 
the, uh, the bravado, and uh, we know it or nobody knows it or they should follow these regulations. Is there. And another thing I want the Nigerian government to do, we should make use of our Nigerian embassies and high commissions abroad. We are not be making use of them in certain things because of lack of information. Because even those guys, when they get there, they so can't even get there. Even the ones in UK can't even get there. They tell you, so we are not ready. I see most of them in Africa, they are not doing it. So that type of information that will link us to really understand that this is what we are doing. Unlike other countries, they are making use of a lot of their high commissions and embassies in Nigeria, getting a lot of information and educating the people. Why not reciprocate that? Ad? So the issue of reactiveness, instead of being proactive, and sh I don't want to use the word short corner, but not adherence to certain regulation is not the best for us. We should obey that. I just hope that the decision should not be very much negative, so that it will not mark the whole of this preparation we have done. It will be a very bad image for us, and it will affect us again. It happened the other year, it cannot happen the same year. Like so, we are even talking, now you have almost six or seven athletes who are under different ban from Nigeria. So you should be able to understand what do we do about them, and how do we avert that type of situation in the future. So well, well said, Doctor, but I want you to give us an assessment of the present Minister of um, Sport Development. Um, that's talking about um, um, John Ennon. Uh, yes, so far, so good. Me. So far, goes good. Do you, do you think um, he's leading us um, in the right path? Or you feel the, there's more that still needs to be done? Because um, I think um, he has been upright. I mean, if you go and got into reports, uh, paper report, but tell us, what's your view about him so far so good well senator john Owen is an astute administrator senator john Owen is a very uh, a very intelligent administrator with a, a lot of imaginary you know initially when he came in the people were a little bit afraid but we can see the record he came up with a c west project c point agenda and i am very much certain he's achieving them we are seeing the result you saw how even when we have come with a belief in the mantra, let's do it again. But when we got to Abidjan, nobody gave them hope that they are going to get to that point. And they were able to get to the second position after a, a very long year. We have been winning the golden bronze. We saw how it is. You saw how you have been able to harness and reduce the issue of claim. You no, know, moving his own office to the national stadium was another way uh, in Abuja, was an, a, a way of getting closer to really understand what really happened. Even the Asaba Youth uh, National Organized that. So, so what we need mostly is administrator managers who should be able to understand the nitty gritty and the psychology or the philosophy of whatever ministry they are handling. So for me so far, he's doing a lot of things. He's learning the rope. He's taking correction, taking some things. Where there's any issue, he was able, he's, able, he's very proactive and it's up and doing. I, in terms of the best ministers we can have in this country, I think it should be counted among the first five in terms of, you saw in Abidjan, for now, we are never here for a very long time that an athlete are shouting or federation are fighting for one position, election or this and no. That is a good work of Senator John or one of the sports ministers. Easily accommodated and, uh, by the people, even like by the athlete. And uh, there's that synergy working hand in hand. And another good thing with him is reporting. When there's an issue, he does his own reporting very well and go to the nitty gritty, bring out some protocols to relate with the athlete as a father figure. This is how it is. So if you're able to have somebody who's that type of administrator, who had that knack for getting results, you should be able to encourage him. So for me, I still believe administration is a continuum. It's a learning. You keep on learning every day because you are dealing with people with a lot of dynamism, a lot of changes because human beings be social animal you'll be able to understand that you cannot get it all. Like the last time in the unveiling of the Olympic, the French chargé d'affaires was also there. So that is that collaboration, sport diplomacy, and he's trying to improve on that one very well, and he's doing it very well. So I feel for me, you should just encourage him, and the fourth realm of the society, which is the press, the media, where all of you and I belong to. When it's good, you say it's good. When it's not good, you say it's not good. But for me now, I think he has done very well, and there's the expectation. He was with the team in Douala. He was with them in Ghana. He, everywhere he goes, he's also with the team. He has not been turned to a football minister that we used to see in the past. The football is number one sport. Uh, so I believe that... You talk, you talk, doctor. The situation. 
You, yes, speak, you, speak, you speak so well of the, the minister, and no doubt um, your perspective cannot be um, yeah. uh, um, yeah. objected because it's your own personal perspective. But what are other areas that, um, that needs to, to be done you wish you also should also implement? Um, what are areas you yeah, think, think um, that needs to be done? I think he came up with the CIS uh, project, uh, program, you call it CWEX, and I, I believe that uh, in between the race, you should be able to keep on adjusting. You see, the issue of the national stadium with Surulere is still hanging. We don't know which way forward. So these are some of these issues we need to do. The issue of NFF, he, he put on the table that NFF should give us a, a winning coach. So these are some of these areas that are really tasking that I believe you will be able to do and see how he's collaborating with the Federation. And uh, so far, so we are not being able to interfere in the Federation running of affairs. But when it doesn't, when it's not in tandem to certain regulation, he points it out. He has a palate. I am just saying it. I am not his spokesperson. I don't work for him. I don't work for him. You know. But we need to be very much objective. When it is wrong, we say it's wrong. When it needs an improvement, we say it's fine. You need to improve. But he may not know. He may not get it all. And one year and I in the saddle, they still have other years to go. But this decision of water and cars is a very serious issue that may likely affect a lot of things in Nigeria. And we don't want it to happen. And I believe it will not happen. So let us just give you the full support we can. Then uh, see how we can manage the federations also. And the talent, data building. And uh, we don't have the data building and we have the talent. We can now see how we can improve. Another thing I'm looking for an area for him to improve, like one of the things I said the other time was to have a social, a social plan mm. for retired athletes and players. So that when they retire, would you see that most of them are always in the stadium there, hanging around. It's not the best. So they should be able to have life after football. So this is where also your personal thing comes into play. That's what you have to achieve in your own life. So it's not somebody who tell an athlete that you have to do that. You have to do, you know, you should know that you're playing years, even as a footballer, maximum 10 to 11 years you are off. This is how we should encourage. Uh, so the younger ones, they get integrated into the various federations and into school sports. You know, this is where the talent is. Yeah, me, I keep on emphasizing on school sports because you have to hunt those talents. They are there. You bring them there out. You nurture them, even nutritionally. You tell them this is what you should do. And it's, that education to it, you get is done. So for him, as an administrator, as a mini, because the word sport development. So he needs to develop that sport, bring diplomacy, bring in uh, returns. That sport to, it's not entertainment any longer. And like I say, it's an export. We have to export it and know where we are. And this is a function of data. You should be able to know how many footballers you have, how many athletes, how do canoe kayak you have. How many uh, uh, cyclists do you have in Nigeria? How do you want to improve it? How do you take them from sports or from schools? So after that, what do they do when there are uh, low period, low season? What do they do? So all these are those incentives, those programs that they, they have to do. It's not only the fanfare. The fanfare will not always help us, but you have to go in. And I believe this is what he will do among well, with his own CWS program. I think he is able to get to that point. Yeah, you are, in, my you are, views are that. Yeah, well, well said, Doctor. You are, you are optimistic about um, the outing that's Paris, Paris 2024. Uh, I, 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 about now, Nigerians are watching us, and uh, I want you to also give that, them that same spirit that you have about it. I mean, talk to Nigerians that tell them so much, so that a lot of people think this is just going to be like another jamboree. It's going to be like another affair. There's nothing so spectacular. And some will not forget what happened in Tokyo 2021, where we could not participate. Mm. Some of our athletes could not participate. So um, talk to Nigerians. Tell them to watch us. Uh, because, you know, in the next um, few weeks, um, this no, event will start. In the next 12 days, or 12 or 13 days, every person will converge in Paris. <laughs> so tell, tell, well, tell, me, I... tell Nigerians, I mean... <laughs> Nigeria is only part. They want to be awake. They want to be, you know, depending yes. on the time difference and all yes. that. Yes. Yeah, right. You see, Nigeria, the way we have today now, most people are very hungry. But sports is a unifying factor whereby it depicts the hunger when you are hungry. And mostly when people are, when our teams are doing very well and winning, 
people can stay all night. The only way we can do that is to encourage these people who are on the field, the athletes who are doing this, to tell them so you have to do it in your only two way. You see, it, it, the Olympics is a, a is a process whereby it's a dream for any sportsman to attend. If you are a football, you want to attend the Olympics because now we are going to celebrate uh, the, the hundred years of Olympics. Uh, what is what is what is the beauty? So you have to encourage everybody, even at your home, the children. If they didn't do well, if they're gone beyond your expectation, then we should not be know that this is society. Because our drawing board, like to be sincere, our drawing boards are always full. But we need people who are not proactive. We need managers of tasks oriented who do not understand that this is what we want. The jamboree, we don't need the jamboree so much, but it's part of it. The jamboree is part of it, it's part of the organization. So we expect them that they should be able to go. Where, where I key my confidence is one, I key my confidence in the last African games we had in Ghana. Okay. I saw some Tamil Nigerians, and honestly, it was them. You saw the lady who ran that relay from 210 meters. She was able to overtook that, uh, that lady, that Ghanaian lady. And the Ghanaian was surprised. I was telling my friend, Nick, I said, Nick, can you see what is happening there? He said, You Nigerian people carry something. I said, You don't carry anything. Why you don't find where something is for Ghana to carry? Why don't you go to Tamale that have something to carry? He started laughing. So, this mm. is that is the encouragement. And you also seen Dwala. What happened in Dwala? They were always there. So, and you can see the discipline. These things that these athletes are easier to manage. If you really relate with them as friends, if you really relate them with as professionals, you respect them for what they are, it will be very well. Unlike some of the administrators who want to cajole them like children, this is where the problem comes in. That is why I think they will just need it. But at the same time, you should always try to obey protocols, rules, and regulations in each of the games. There are regulations in each of the federation. How have we been able to harness it? We are going with 12, we are going to participate in 12 games. In that 12 game, what are the medals hopeful? But like I said, the hope here in Med for me, I believe in athletes. The athletes like Toby Moss, I believe in our relating. And hopefully our tennis. But because you are competing among the best in the world. So every Nigeria should be prepared to compete among the best in the world. So this time it is. Because we have that spirit, we have that talent. We just need people to guide us and, and less distraction we'll be able to do that until we start also eliminating this issue of um, nepotism um, my brother is here my sister is here you must be there you will not get the best but now i believe that we are in the process of getting the best and yeah. i just pray that what happened in tokyo will not happen here but then at the same time prayer does not solve the problem when you know that what you are doing is wrong so this is why we need to be very proactive. You know, so every to every Nigeria, there is hope. Let's keep on moving with the team. Let's keep on moving with anything. We cannot castigate ourselves. There's no dustbin where you throw human beings who are not doing well. We keep on improving their situation. Well, I'm sorry, you also have heard about the news of our former Olympic gold medalist, um, N.F. Young Udobong, who is a former mm. Olympic gold medalist um, as a former technical director Lagos State Athletic, um, Associ Athletics Association. He has been appointed um, by the Saudi Arabia government that um, is the technical advisor to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia Athletic Development and Program. And this seems like very good news for Nigerians. Um, and this is something new when it comes to athletics because we also know that um, Emeka Emenalo, the former Chelsea Emenalo, sporting yes. director, yes. has been yes, appointed in the past um, I mean, he's still there in Saudi Arabia to lead some of the football evolution going on in Saudi Arabia. When you saw this, what does this mean for Nigerian athletics and to Nigerians say, oh, that we have um, NF Young Udobong, a very popular man when it comes to remember what he did in the last, in the Olympic span. What does this mean to Nigeria as a whole? No, I, like, uh, like you said, my opening salvo here was that we have a talent, we have a lot of Nigerians spread all over the world, even in Africa, which personally I know, I know that. Like Udobong, getting into that position is not a fluke, because that class was good. Uh, we agree that with, uh, Mikweli, nice, is, is having a, a Portuguese nationality. Uh -huh. That is another issue that was raised, where our athletes are forsaking our nationality and running for other countries. The other thing they are still working on how to do that incentive. But for Nigeria, getting all those international points is a very good one. That is why you have to 
prepare your own self, you go to education, combine your education and skill, and make yourself relevant and outside the shores. When you get there, like you're talking about Mr. Michael Milano, he was in Monaco, I think he met once in Monaco, yeah. and he was doing very well before he left. Now he's in Saudi yeah. Arabia. So he's doing a lot of things for Saudi Arabia. You know, it's a changing the face of football in Saudi Arabia. Somebody must recommend you somewhere. When you are doing well, you know, let your work speak for yourself. It's not every day you must know somebody. No. When your work speak for yourself, somebody will be there to speak for you. There are a lot of Nigerians do so many things, even in the US, in the, in the West Coast. That is the same thing I keep on telling even our football coaches in Nigeria. Try and cross the border. We have one in Benin Republic now. Go to places like Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire, you have a lot of Nigerians there doing so many. Some are even having Nigerian national, uh, Nigerian nationality. What the problem for that? There's no problem about that. Just go and do something positive and now see that, yes, it, we can see. Even the national teams of some of these countries, you see a lot of Nigerian interaction. Burkina Faso, you have almost two or three in there. Uh, Guinea, Guinea, the uh, Sili National de Guinea, we have one, Banco there. Sierra Leone, Banco is there with uh, the other guy, Giwa. So we have uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, we have a lot of them. In Congo, DRC, Congo, there's one in Mecca. He's doing the same thing. In Djibouti, they, they are there, they are running. I know uh, the national uh, coach uh, of uh, Djibouti is uh, Kwesi, uh, Kwesi Apia, who is his assistant. His third assistant is in Nigeria. So, these are in Sudan. So, this is what I'm telling you. Nigerians are spread all over. And we are trying to do the best we can. So, we should not always look at the negative. The negative will excel. We have the likes of uh, Falile Ugukwaya. She's doing very well. Uh, Mary Onyali, the queen of the track. She's there doing well. Choma Joma. The first lady. So these are the personalities, the sport personalities that you can take all over and push them anywhere and they will perform. That is why in Nigeria we are also advocating that. Please, appointment and selection should not be based on political party basis. If mm. you know somebody who can do, even if it's not in your party, even if it's not from your state, pick him. He will develop something for you. This is what we are saying. Until we are able to bring that type of uh, uh, orientations into our own minds, and those people by the corridor of power will look at it and identify that, yes, this is scientific. You know, some of us are working for international agencies and they are the UN and the US. So it's not because of your nationality. It's what you can do. It's not what you can do. You know. So this is what is taking us. So that is what I keep on preaching. You do your sport, be humble, learn a second skill, learn a second language if it's possible, and you make yourself very, very relevant. See, like Udo now. It's very beautiful. And from there, other people will now move on. Talk less of S in South Africa. When I get it, Dr. Chima is the head of the Central Hospital in Pretoria in Jobok. He's a Nigerian, Chima Keke. So these are the things we should be able to understand that we have them all over, even in NASA. Anywhere you go, you don't see a Nigerian, just pack your load and go. <laughs> we, we know that the place is not working. So this is how it is. Even when I was in Nakuru, Kenya, living there, my friend David Wanaina keep on telling me that he likes us up there. I say, yes, we, we, we strive to achieve. Hmm. We give the respect to the world, but we, don't, we are not sheepish. We learn. We move on. But you've seen us already now. You know <laughs> where some of us are coming from now. So okay. this is how it is. We work to the high level in the United Nations, work from other different countries. So this is how it has taken us to that well, well, do, well, do, well do, do, Dr. Um, it's an um, interesting moment on the show. We want to say a big thank you for your time. Um, we, oh, great we, moment. We, yeah. Anytime. Anytime for, we, we, anything we, for us in Africa is possible. Yes, we know definitely we will be getting more information and we we'll probably call you as the Olympic comes closer. Sure. Olympic is there for all of us. Yeah, thank you very Separate. much. <laughs> Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> He has been speaking <laughs> with um, Dr. Martin Morgan, who is an African sport consultant and also he has done so well for sports and beyond sport for Africa, the continent of Africa. But, um, as we prepare for the Olympics, I'm sure Nigerians should know that um, this is one of the best times to give the support for our contingent who will be arriving um, in Paris soonest to keep the white, green, white, green flag um, flying. And that's where we will draw the cutting for today's program. I want to say a big thank you for our viewers I've watched across the globe. For those that don't know, Plus TV Africa is watching more than 48 countries 
um, in the continent of Africa. And if you have your device to anywhere across the globe, you can connect us on all our social media platform, YouTube X account, and don't forget Instagram and Facebook to always get the best of sport.